I have tinnitus. Does it mean I have hearing loss? Hello again. Thank you for watching our channel. Tinnitus and hearing loss do not necessarily occur together. Many people complain about tinnitus without having a hearing loss. Let's start at the beginning and talk about hearing loss and tinnitus to clarify any confusion because it is important to understand the basics. A lot of people say they have tinnitus, but their hearing is fine and their hearing tests come back normal with no issues. Still, a standard hearing test is helpful to check the patient for hearing loss presence. It doesn't include a lot of other important tests that can show what's going on and how the auditory system functions. So the idea is that some distortion might occur somewhere in the auditory system, which could be one of the preconditions of tinnitus. However, except for scientific studies and professionals in the field, most people won't actively search for the presence of these distortions. Now, what is the tinnitus place in all this? You may want to watch some of our videos to refresh your knowledge. Tinnitus is caused by abnormal electrical activity in parts of the brain, and it can be actually seen by using what is called functional MRI. Please watch our tinnitus curse or blessing video, which shows how tinnitus looks like. The exact cause of the rapid increase in electrical activity in our brain in this fast-changing pace is still mostly unknown. There are some theories and hypotheses, but the best science has to offer is this understanding that some parts of the auditory system are somehow connected to this process. Does this mean a hearing loss must be present to cause this activity somehow? Absolutely not. Please listen carefully. Scientifically verified and proven on countless occasions knowledge indicates that more than 20% of chronic tinnitus patients have no hearing loss present. More than this, the presence of tinnitus does not indicate an imminent or future onset of hearing loss. So here we are, and honestly, in our clinic, we have seen more people not having hearing loss and complaining about tinnitus than people with hearing loss and tinnitus. But in the case of hearing loss and tinnitus presence, we see most of those people complaining about experiencing problems with the loudness of sounds. In the case of younger people, we usually see a hyperacusis presence. Again, please subscribe to our channel as one of the videos just to be released is about tinnitus and decreased tolerance for loud sounds, or even worse, high-pitched sounds, like cleaning the dishes. But going back to tinnitus and hearing loss. As we say all the time, tinnitus has many faces and it is absolutely a must part of the tinnitus investigation to do a proper hearing test, including the most important tests, which are, for different reasons, usually not included in most hearing clinic test batteries. So all tinnitus sufferers should ask for are an uncomfortable listening level UCL and LDL tests. Once again, I highly recommend watching our video on proper testing procedures and tinnitus assessment. It can truly make a difference in getting rid of your tinnitus by providing you with the right instructions and understanding the nature and type of your tinnitus. This knowledge can improve your quality of life while living with tinnitus. Always ask your audiologist about your test results. Understanding them and using this knowledge can make a huge difference in your life and how you can help yourself with tinnitus. There are many different tinnitus conditions. They differentiate based on whether tinnitus is caused by itself or being in the company of other problems such as very high levels of anxiety, decreased sound tolerance, hyperacusis or recruitment, hearing loss, and many others. In reality, we rarely deal with tinnitus on its own. Most tinnitus sufferers often report other health issues or conditions that have been present for an extended period, which are caused or connected to the onset of tinnitus. Does this mean a hearing loss must be present to cause this activity somehow? Absolutely not. Don't forget and click subscribe. Who knows, this video by itself could change your life. And there will be more videos on topics you may find useful. So please, 
click that subscribe button now to receive our weekly videos and make the most of the valuable information they provide. Thank you for watching.